Hello! Uh, today I haven't got a plant video, but I do have a spiny leaf stick insect video. Um, so, well, I went for a walk here at the Marucci Botanical Gardens and it's beautiful here. Um, this is on Cubby Land and here's our spiny leaf stick insect. So this would be a female because it's quite large and one of their defensive mechanisms is curling the tail over like this. That kind of, I don't know, people say it represents a scorpion, but I don't know if that's really what they're trying to do. <laughs> but it works, like, it's definitely a threat. Um, one really cool thing is with insects is they have little holes all along their abdomen, and that's how they breathe. They don't actually breathe through their mouth. Uh, that's just for eating. So when I'm holding him here, I can feel his body sort of, I mean, her body, sorry, her body sort of pulsating and that would be oh yeah you can kind of see it on the tail there uh, that would be their way of respirating so that's taking oxygen in and passively diffusing it through a network of sort of vessels to all their cells um, whereas us humans we have positive sort of compression in our lungs so we can force oxygen into our bloodstream whereas these little fellas rely on just passively letting that oxygen diffuse around their system uh they're pretty awesome their forms of camouflage like these legs here are wicked just look like leaves and when they're a bit smaller they're a lot harder to see um and one really cool thing about spinies and all stick insects is their larvae um grow up in ant nests so what happens is their eggs have a little sack of protein on them, like lipids and stuff, and the eggs fall on the ground and ants come along and they eat up that little sack of protein and they discard the egg in their nest somewhere. And then the larvae of these ones rep uh, mimic sort of this, those ants in their nest so they don't get attacked. Um, and yeah, it's actually, there's a, some seeds from different plants, namely the acacia trees that have wattle seeds that have like a little, a little tiny growth on the seed that um, is used for the same reason. So ants move them into their nest and I guess they germinate better. Um, yeah, other than that, they're a fascinating little creature. They mainly feed up the tops of trees, so we don't often see them down here on the ground I think maybe this one's come down to breed or it's been blown down yeah probably been blown down uh, because it's been a bit rainy recently um, another interesting thing is that the females can just reproduce asexually and make clones of themselves I think it's parthenogenesis anyhow that's all the spiny stick leaf <laughs> spiny leaf stick insect facts I have for you today Hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry it wasn't a plant video and sorry to ramble so much. Anyway, I better get, get home. <laughs>